Hello everyone, welcome to My AI Mastery where you'll learn about the best generative AI tools. Today we will check the potential of Midjourney as an AI tool for generating art. I have been using Midjourney for a while. In my opinion, Midjourney is currently leading the race of generative AI in terms of generating art. Using Midjourney is a bit different from rest of the generative AI tools. For example, for the tools like ChatGPT and Meta, you just need to sign up and start giving prompts straight away. For Midjourney, you will need to sign up for a Discord group and start giving instructions in that group. So first we will have a look at what this group looks like. It will give you an idea about what it's like to interact with the Midjourney tool. And then we will give our own prompts to check its response. Here we go. So here we are in this group. Here we've got different types of prompts shared by different users. And the chatbot of Midjourney gives us different type of results. So first we ha we'll have a look at what kind of results are other users getting for the kind of prompts that they are giving. So it will give us an idea about what sort of prompt that we are supposed to give for the results that we want, how detailed and specific we need to be, and the kind of wording that we need to use. So that's really good. I mean, for rest of the tools, you didn't have any idea about the kind of prompt that you're supposed to be using. But here, um, you can get educated within no time by seeing the kind of instructions people are giving to this chatbot and the kind of results that they get. So the first up, we've got like someone requesting a baby Harry Potter keychain 3D model. Here we go. That's nice. Not bad to begin with. We've got different types of lamp, lamp LED 3D UFO figure. Wow, this looks amazing, man. As good as a real one. Like, like you can't differentiate between a professional photographer taking photo of this lamp and this generative AI tool creating these images. Amazing, simply amazing. You got lamp LED plastic 3D figure nine. Wow, just look at this pizza generated by AI. These pepperonis and all of that stuff looks as good as real one, man. It's amazing. So we'll kind of look for different kind of prompts and we'll see like if there's something extremely unique that this tool is capable of generating. Uh, we've got Pokemon chips, product photo of a pizza, minimal design, elegant light, purple background, fear of God, photo taken from side spotlight. So you can see the more detailed and specific you are with your prompt, the more specific and tailored response you are going to get. Plastic cup with 3D model game character design. That's really good. Another pizza we've got. And that's simply amazing. So that's it. These are the kind of responses we can see for, for different users. And let's add one of our, our one of our own prompt and see what we are going to get. So here on this prompt box we'll go. And if you want to give prompt to mid journey, you got to be different from the rest. All you need to do is you need to start your sentence with imagine. So here we go. Once we click that, now we have this prompt box open and we need to, we can write any prompt that we want. So let's put this one to test and uh, make it come up with something creative. So let's give it a prompt like, say, uh, a hot air balloon in a stormy weather during evening. The sky is filled with dark clouds full of lightning. The people in the hot air balloon are jumping out of it to save their lives. The hot air balloon has rainbow colors. I think this is quite detailed, but not a bad one to begin with. But let's see. Let's press enter and see what we are going to get. So this is the command that we have given the mid journey bot and it's taking a while to prepare it. Waiting to start 12%. It also shows you the processing time 25%. Oh, that's pretty fast compared to the, compared to the results I got during the last time. 
That's pretty fast compared to what I got during the last time. I think our image is ready. No, this one belongs to someone else. Where is our image? Let's just scroll it up a bit. Oh, it just <laughs> probably got lost somewhere. No, I need to scroll down. There it is. Sorry. A hot air balloon in a stormy weather during evening. The sky is filled with dark clouds full of lightning. The people in hot air balloon are jumping out of it to save their lives. The hot air balloon has rainbow colors. So, wow. Just look at this, man. So it has given us these four different version of images, but each one of them is like simply amazing. Just look at that. People jumping out of that. We've got a hot air balloon on fire and it's stuck in, this one looks really good. The hot air balloon stuck in a thunderstorm and people are trying to save their lives jumping out of the hot air balloon. Wonderful. So apart from that, it gives us different kind of options as well. Let's say if I click YouTube, it will come up with a different response here. Yo, look at this. This is the kind of response that we've got. We can give it different uh, instructions like upscale, upscale creative. We can, we can also adjust the color scheme, contrast, all of that stuff. But this one's simply amazing, man. Simply amazing. Let's see what rest of the people are getting. Photorealistic adult man from behind on stage in front of a blurred audience of people talk to motivational speech, popularity and fame in front of the lights and spotlights in the background. Wow, this guy is a lot more detailed than us in terms of their prompt, but just look at their response. So that's it about mid journey, introduction to mid journey. And so this is the another picture of that. We need to be a bit more detailed to get the kind of responses the other rest of the users are getting. But that's simply amazing. Simply, simply amazing. So that was an introductory video about the potential of mid journey as as a generative AI tool for generating images. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this tool compared to Dell E, Meta and Google's AI, what they are capable of doing. I personally believe this one is miles ahead of the rest in terms of generating images. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. Up until the next time. Thank you.